Hello guys, today we will go a little bit off script, off topic of this channel of Laravel into ChatGPT. Let's talk about ChatGPT because today I had a very interesting story, two in one story about ChatGPT and I think we can make it a really interesting discussion in the comments. Do developers use ChatGPT and will ChatGPT replace developers? It's not about replacement, but hear me out, the story. While browsing jobs on Upwork for ideas for content about Python on my second channel, I found this job description. This is the full job description. I've zoomed it in. Deep learning expert. It's about Python. You don't need to know any of those terms. And I don't know any of those either, to be honest yet. But what caught my attention is this line. So the client does not accept the code written by ChatGPT. And when I tweeted about it, this is my tweet, and I will link that in the description below. In the replies to that tweet, there's quite an interesting discussion about is ChatGPT code good? It's mostly poor, some people say. Also, another opinion, they wouldn't even notice, the client wouldn't even notice that the code is written by ChatGPT. If they are not technical, how would they know, right? Also, two counter opinions kind of similar to each other. If the code runs well, what's the problem that is ChatGPT? And Mike is taking it even further, claiming that the companies that do not embrace AI will be obsolete in the five years time. So yeah, this is one part of the story and maybe question to you. Is it okay that the clients do not accept code written by ChatGPT? And have you seen something of that online? But another part of the story is how I use ChatGPT and I do that pretty often for Python learning. And this is what brings me to another real Upwork task, which I'm working on right now. So what I'm doing is taking jobs from Upwork, real jobs, and trying to implement them and then shoot YouTube videos, articles, tweets, and stuff like that. Because I'm a big fan of real practical knowledge instead of like full bar and hello world examples. So real Upwork task that pays $750 to reconciliate two different Excel sheets. In short, I will just show you those sheets. This is a file that they scan for barcode number four stuff. They need to check that with reference file with the same barcode numbers and provide the third Excel file with the difference. This is one of the description of so-called reconciliation. And I have written that Python script locally on my machine and I consulted ChatGPT about my general idea. And here's my prompt. Keep in mind, it's ChatGPT 3.5, not the newest one. And I'm relatively bad at prompting, to be honest. I'm not an expert. I'm just writing in a human language. So I simplified those Excel files to CSVs with some different columns and asked ChatGPT write a Python script for reconciliation of those files. And look at the result. Install library, read CSV, pandas merge, reconcile with comments, merge this, merge that, print. And I've tested that code that actually works. On that simplified CSVs, it does the job according to the task that I described. So from here, the actual result to the client would be transform the same logic into Excel instead of CSV, into more columns and some UI on top. But in terms of algorithm, in terms of ideas, ChatGPT is capable of delivering some part of developer job if the developer is good at simplifying the task for a correct prompt. Also, they need to evaluate the result. Is it okay in general? So not blindly copy paste. And in general, you should treat that code as written by intern or junior which may be with errors or bugs or something that you wouldn't consider because you haven't considered something in the original prompt. Like, for example, if some fields are integers or floats and types, and Python could be strict about that. But these are kind of less interesting details. What I wanted to show you here in two stories. First stories that client has refused ChatGPT, but ChatGPT could be actually a good helper for a developer to deliver something like that quicker. And for some simple tasks like Python scripts, I'm pretty sure we're not far away from Upwork tasks for smaller amount of money being delivered by ChatGPT in one way or another. In some cases, it could write like 10% of the code. In some cases, it may be up to 99%. 
and the developer would need to just deploy it somewhere and deliver to the client. What do you think about all of that? It's just a random train of thought while I'm in the office here. So I thought to quickly shoot this video without too much editing or too much scripting, just fresh as it is. Let's discuss in the comments and maybe share your experience, how you use ChatGPT or GitHub Copilot maybe, or other AI tools to generate part of the code. Does it make you productive or is it still early days? And also, if you want to learn Python with me, I have my second channel, if you don't know yet, Python ML Daily, and I will link that in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.